And it's easy for a coach to say, oh, man, you're going to jump right into this nickel spot and you're going to play in national televised games every week. And that's really easy to say. And then kid shows up and he's like, well, wait a second. Why am I the third guy? By the way, come try to get my guys. Right. Like, come, I dare you, <laughs> Power Fives. I got a pretty, pretty big platform that I can step on. Yeah. And if I find you in my kids' DMs and if I find you talking to high school coaches about my kids, if you're in my roster, I'm going to call your ass out. I'm going to say it by name to the biggest voices in television today. And it's going to make game day and it's going to make sports center. It's going to make, because by the way, those guys running sports center are still my friends. That's right. I still got their sale. So go ahead. I dare you to jump into my roster. And I told the American coach the same thing. I said, why don't you guys have the, you know, what's to stand up and say, get out of my roster. Right. I said, here's why. Cause you want their job. Oh, I want you said it. I want this job. That's right. I don't want no power. I want this job. I want to live in Birmingham. I want to live downtown. I want to go see my grandson in Nashville. I don't want that other job. So I don't care if you blackball me. Right. I want this job. I want the city of Birmingham to say, no, that's our city. That's our coach. Right. And so go ahead. I'm not scared of whoever, the grand poopa of poopas, to blackball me. Right? Like, get out of my roster. These are my guys. I love these guys. Stay the hell out of it. Catch the rest of this episode of Rick and Bubba University wherever you get your podcast.